Welcome, how may I help you? Yes, I want this bag. Uh, that's limited edition. Actually, there are plenty of other options over there that I think would be perfect for your style. Cheap. <clears throat> Just ring me up, please. Okay, well, your total is 19708 How would you like to pay? One minute. It's quite the price tag. Maybe I can give you some time to reconsider? I said one minute. Well, why did you call me? Give me my wallet. I left it with you. Any day now. Oh no, not here. Excuse me, what's going on? Do it now. Seriously, you do this every time. Hi, man. Thank you for shopping with us. Give her the bag. What? She didn't even pay. There's been a change in management. You're looking at the new owner of the store. And she fired you. No, wait, I'm so sorry. That's the last time I'm letting you buy another random store. Can we go now? Yes, now take me to McDonald's. Hi, ma'am. You've been standing there for quite a bit. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, I'm waiting to be seated. Um, this is a McDonald's, but I'd be happy to take your order at the front. Well, that's a new fine dining protocol. And this is a fast food restaurant. And it comes with an appetizer of back talk. Lovely. My grandson will be ordering for us. Sorry for making you wait. There was no parking. <laughs> you know what I want. I'm gonna go scavenger hunt for a seat. <sighs> Sorry about that. No problem, what can I get for you? Yeah, can I get three Big Mac meals, a 20-piece nugget, two McFlurries, and a Happy Meal toy? Okay. And a chicken sandwich for me. All of that was for her- Oh, okay, well, your total is 30 Cool, thanks. <sighs> and it's all ordered, it should be out soon. Okay, did you tip? Uh, no. I'll go back and do it. Grandma, people don't just give out cash tips like that here. And keep up with the times, get their Venmo, and send each of the staff 3,000. Are you ser- Now, and make sure my fries are well done, as you always forget. Oh, you're impossible. Well, this is a nice place. Grandma, you can't just walk into random mansions. And they should get better security. Come on, let's go before we get caught. Get out of here. Grandma, we're in the Bat Cave. I'm so sorry, sir, we're leaving. Please don't hurt us. Bruce Wayne, is that you all grown up? What? No, it's Batman. Take that mask off your face, you look ridiculous. Oh, fine. Grandma, you know Batman, I mean, Bruce Wayne? Who do you think gave the Wayne family their start? You know I appreciate your support, but could you please leave? I really like your place. I'm gonna buy it. I don't know how you got in, but you can't just buy my mansion. Seriously, let's go. Ma'am, listen to your grandson. Young man, I wipe my countertops with your 9.2 billion. I've already talked to Alfred, and I've seized Wayne Enterprises, and you move out on Monday. What the? Leave the Batmobile. I'm gonna go get my nails done. Fine. Uh-uh, and the suit. <sighs> so, what are we doing today? Let's do gold today. Sure thing. Excuse me, ma'am? Hello, can you hear me, old hag? Old hag? Certainly you're speaking to your reflection. Yes, I can hear you, but I refuse to speak to someone wearing capris. Hey! So what's your issue today, Karen? I'd much prefer to get my nails done in peace. Actually, it's Irene. Karen is my middle name. Oh, shocking. I've been waiting all morning for an opening with this tech. That's cute. I have an appointment. Well, your appointment can wait. Of, take my word on this. Nobody will notice if those talons are painted or not. Are you looking down on me? For that to be the case, there would have to be somebody worthy of my sight in my presence. Keep it up, Granny. I'm gonna call corporate. And good luck with that. I'm the biggest investor of this nail salon chain. Ugh. Thank you so much for that. She comes in every weekend to harass us. Don't you worry about that. Expect the new security detail on Monday. Welcome, and what's your destination for today? Oh yes, Tokyo. I'm terribly sorry, sir. There's been an incident and our planes have been delayed for seven hours. This can't be happening. We have an important meeting to attend. Grandma, you're borderline carrying the situation right now. Oops, don't want to do that. So are there any other airlines with flights to Tokyo? Unfortunately, no, but I'm moving you to the first plane available. I'm so sorry. It's all right. Thank you so much. Told you we should have used the private jet. Grandma, we're always doing over-the-top stuff. Sometimes we just need to chill out. Yeah, yeah, that over-the-top stuff gets us to where we need to be. We desperately needed that first-class experience to humble us. Okay, yep, that sounded like privilege. What are you gonna do to fix this? This meeting is huge. Wait, wasn't I the only one going to the meeting and you were just going for vacation? That's besides the point. Whatever, I'll try to figure something out. Just wait here. Ugh. Okay, so she said, Grandma, where are you? Ma'am, is there anything else I can get for you today? Yes, two bottles of champagne and not that cheap stuff. Grandma, the party isn't for another week. Why are we already decorating? You stupid. The Summer Investors Ball is no joke. Everything needs to be perfect. You're too much. Sylvia is coming over soon to discuss some details. Well, hello, hello. Speak of the devil. I'll be over there. Sylvia, welcome. I love what you're doing with the place. Thank you, and I'm still waiting for the Michelin chefs to arrive. Nice. Say, have you considered handing the ball over to me yet? Why would I do that? Well, you know, you've been doing it for 25 years, and I would love to finally host. But your taste is questionable at best. And your house is pitifully small. Hey! You're here to suggest I'm too old. Maybe you should talk to your surgeon about your crow's feet first. Wait, what? You can leave now. All I'm saying is it's finally time for a fresh take on the ball. And I'm saying you're uninvited and fired. Wait, no, I need this ball to make connections. I'm at the peak of my career. Enjoy your blissful descent. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to- Leave. Grandma, you have a special way of reading people. Wait your small talk and install the chandeliers. 
Hurry up, old lady. People have places to be. Chill out. She's only been here a few minutes. Help me. The machine isn't working. Oh no, do you not have any money to withdraw? <sighs> I think it's frozen. Go and get some help. Sure thing, Grandma. Wait here. Great. Now you're holding up the line even more. Hun, this is a bank. The charity is down the street. Cute comeback. If only there was something cute about you. Aha, very funny. Hi, ma'am. What seems to be the problem? Good luck with this one, buddy. She's just broke. I'm trying to make a withdrawal and it keeps freezing. That's been happening all week. Let me take a look. Grandma, how do you stay so calm with people like that yelling at you? I've been around a long time. And you're all set. Sorry about that. Did you read my balance? I forgot my reading glasses. Your thing. $8,500,207,013. Sorry, a bit louder. Of course. $8,500,207,013. Bro, you did not. Thank you. Boris, have a nice day. <laughs> let's get Boba. Hey, let's go. I gotta say, it was very nice of your grandson to set up this blind date. Yeah, he's always trying to set me up. Hi there, my name is Evan and I'll be taking care of you guys today. What can I get started for you? I'll have the salmon, please. And I'll take the ribeye. Great, it'll be out in just a moment. Thank you, darling. Oh, this generation, am I right? Do you mean? Server, he was wearing makeup. I wish men were men like back in our day. Oh, is that so? One is so sensitive and delusional these days. We let boys run around in skirts, despicable. Mm-hmm. And here you are. Actually, young man, can I order the pasta too, filet mignon, and your finest wine? Certainly, ma'am. I'll be right back. That seems like quite a lot. Hungry? Absolutely starving. And here you go. Thank you so much for dining with us. I'll leave the check right here. $3,000? That's outrageous. How do you suppose we split this? Split? I'm sure a big, strong man like you has that and more. Hey, get back here! Uh, you're very sweet for inviting me on your private jet, but if I may, where are we going? To meet my grandson, of course. You're a lovely boy, and he needs to get out more. <laughs> Great. Grandma, why are we at a dealership? We have plenty of cars. It's about time you get your own car. What? Seriously? You don't think I haven't noticed my Bugatti missing every time you sneak out of the house? Oh, that wasn't me. Sure as hell wasn't your lazy-ass mother. Hi there, welcome. What can I help you guys with today? I would like this white one for my grandson. Uh, these are our top-of-the-line models. I don't know if you want your grandson in one of these. And it'll be for me. Ooh, lady, I don't know. Are you even still fit to drive? Ooh, you shouldn't have said that. You must be doing pretty well if you're bold enough to ruin a sale. <laughs> All I'm saying is that these cars are meant for serious collectors, not the everyday person. Maybe try Honda? At least they're doing their jobs and actually selling cars. Man, between you and me, we're having some pretty good energy right here, and I really wish I could sell it to you, but I think you should reconsider. Whatever, come on, we're leaving. Wait, Grandma, come back. What are you up to now? You really outdid yourself this time. I can't believe we even wasted our time in a dealership in the first place. You gotta be kidding me. She built an entire dealership across the street? Good luck getting business now. Even their coffee was terrible. Ugh. Ugh. Richard, thank you for inviting us on your yacht today. Of course, anytime. You're one of my closest friends. I also brought my grandson. I hope you don't mind. Hi there, thank you for inviting us. No problem at all. Hi there. Wonderful. So I'm just curious, what happened to your yacht? We recently sold it, so unfortunately we're yachtless right now. Mm, how unfortunate. Truly. Say, everyone's been talking. What about you have to tell me? It's about you, actually. Oh no. Don't worry, let me put it this way. Did you sell your yacht to upgrade or because, you know... I quit while I'm ahead. No, no, let him finish. This is a privilege not even his wife gets to see. <laughs> I really mean no harm. All of us on the board think your family's on the decline, so as a friend, I bring this up to offer my support. You must think I'm an idiot. I know you vultures are waiting to take my spot in the market. Oh, come on. Come on, let's go. Now, what do you have up your sleeve this time? Who's on the decline now, Richard? How in the hell did she acquire a whole naval fleet? Okay, seriously, Grandma, what business are we really in? Oh, hush up. Is the boba vendor here yet? I'm sick and tired of him. Take him out. Yes, ma'am, I'll get a team on it right away. Grandma, who are these guys? They're my team of advisors. What do you need? I swear I heard you just say take them out. Are we unaliving people? No, oh, don't be stupid. Son, I think it would just be best if you come back later. No, this ends today. How are you really rich? Cuz I work hard. Seriously, answer me. Going a little insane. Do you need some tiger bomb? Grandma. Kid, just run along. We have serious adult things to discuss and we don't have a lot of time. It's okay, Rick. I got this. You just misunderstood me. I said take them out to dinner. Our competitors are being finicky, so I set up a negotiation meeting. Really? Oh, I feel stupid now. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes, really, would I lie? Could you really imagine me doing that type of stuff? Mm, I guess not. I must have been going crazy. Exactly. Now get out of here before I take away your yacht. Oh, no need for that. Sorry to interrupt. I'm gonna go now. See you for dinner. Yeah, uh, yeah. Good, he's gone. So how soon can the snipers be on site? Give me 48 hours. Mm -mm, I'm giving you 24 now. Beat it. Yes, ma'am. 
thank you for joining us today. I know you're a very busy woman. I mean, it's not every day Forbes calls for an interview. Are you kidding? How could we not speak to the woman behind the headscarf? So, tell me about your career. To tell you the truth, we began as a small fishing business and slowly got into tech. <coughs> a bullshit. Uh, is everything alright? I'm sorry, one second. What's your problem? Grandma, we're not rich because of some computers. We're rich because you're a mob boss. I've already told you I'm not. You literally had a man yesterday. Allegedly. Whatever, you can't keep lying to the world. I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed to live in a mansion and have the greatest grandma on earth? Good lord. Happy to finish this interview another time. Yes, please. Oh, nonsense. My grandson was just being jealous. Please continue. Okay, final question. If you were stranded on an island, what would you bring? Easy, my yacht, of course, so I could sail to my other islands. You have an island? Who do you think I- I have an idea. Let me show you. Yes, please. And that's where the casino will go. Well, I'll be damned. Still embarrassed by your grandma? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Blood money. Go and get me a new plate or I'll have you fired. Yes, ma'am, right away. What is going on over there? Uh, it's just some Karen throwing a fit over her order being wrong. A Karen? Yeah, those annoying suburban white women who have nothing better to do but complain. I mean, this is a Chili's. Did she expect some sort of five-star meal? And hey, don't dish Chili's. I feel like this is pretty five-star to me. Okay, you're right. Some Michelin star restaurants don't even compare. Purr. Are you stupid? I said fries, not mashed potatoes. Go get your manager. He'll be right over. That's it. I have to go say something. Grandma, sit down. You're not going to be able to do anything. But No buts. Those Karens never change. Trust me. Fine, just give me my phone. Oh no, what do you have up your sleeve this time? Just mind your business and finish those ribs. Hello, anybody here? Actually, ma'am, we're going to have security escort you out right now. Why is that? Well, there's been a change in ownership, and now we have a restraining order against you. What? And if you don't leave in the next two minutes, you could face up to five years in prison. <gasps> Who could do such a thing? Bye. I hope you know I'll be leaving a nasty Yelp review.